a magnificent natural resource and a popular tourist destination located in the heart of Bacolic City. That's the nice San Bacolo, Sandale. Baco features the sunset at Bataya Park. Bataya Park is the landmark that reflects the endeavors of the city for the conservation, protection, and rehabilitation of the Baco watershed. Thank <laughs> you. 
the evening, the cross on the mountain is illuminated and serves as a guiding light for fishermen. That's the nice and escalante, Catherine. Features the Palapan Bridge, one of the oldest Harrison bridges in the province. It's recently installed glaring lights as an added attraction to Greece tourists as they enter the awakened dragon of the sand. That's the Isa Milamaya, Liza Bell. features the longest mangrove river in the province, the Hindigaran River, home to various aquaculture facilities ranging from very large fish nets to small structures for oysters or tababa. That's the ice of Hindigaran, Senya. features the Obo Cave. It is the oldest and number one tourist destination in town. Both a natural and historical tourist attraction made of two unique caves with distinct features of wet and dry. That's the ice on Hidobahan, Crisal. features their delicious talaba. The municipality is known for its fresh and scrumptious oysters or talaba that can be found in the longest river in the whole island of Negros, the Imog River. That's the ice of Imog, Maria Neal. Isabella features the Glory Hills Cross. The Glory Hills is the town's tourist and highlight and is home to a 45 foot cross. The Holy Mountain is being pushed as a destination to further boost tourism and provide livelihood opportunities for the locals. Ask the nice of Isabella, Melody. Kabangkalan features the Baymox Mangrove Reserve, one of the hidden treasures of the city and the only coastal area protected of a variety of marine life and driving itself with its majestic sunset. That's the nice of Kabangkalan and Kisaya. La Marlota features the Gintugan Falls. La Marlota is blessed with Gintugan Falls that flows endlessly with its crystal clear waters that sustains its mountains and grasslands, coming from the abundance of its rainforests. That's the nice on La Marlota, Chanela! La Castellana features the Cabo Spring Resort. This naturally made up beauty is one of the reasons why the town is dubbed at the Spring Resort's capital of the Negros of Sinta. That's the ice on La Castellana, Aliana.
their best livestock yard. As a love letter to her roots, she depicts the abundance of livestock that is a representation of her hometown, the livestock capital of Negros Occidental. Rush of the water. 